Hello, welcome to um, Minecraft, Minecraft Monday. So let's lo let's load up our world and find uh, where we left off. Of course, if you've been looking at these videos on YouTube, you've probably noticed that part one was uploaded in six parts and they're a little disjointed. Apparently, last video, I was hitting F3 to check my coordinates pretty regularly. And apparently F3 was also my shortcut to stop recording. So um, any time I had the coordinates on screen, the game stopped recording. And because they're FLV files and they're a pain to edit, I just stuck up all the individual parts. So, you know, it's fine. It should be okay from now on. I've remapped the key, so it should be fine. Um, Let's see. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is working. I always, I always have that paranoia at the start of a stream where it hasn't loaded up yet onto my monitor, so I'm just kind of waiting for it, and then it does. But sometimes I have to click refresh first. Um, the sun is going down, so we probably shouldn't be out on top of the hill here at Santa's Grotto. Um, I'm not sure where else we can go. We should probably go down into the mines. We've got a few things to do today. We want to make a flag for Santa's Grotto so that we can stick it on our shield, like a banner image. And I think to do that, to make a Christmassy one, we'll need some red dye and some green dye. And green dye you get from cactuses. So we have to find a desert. That's kind of the long way. We've got the red dye, we've got wildflowers. That, that should be fine, actually. I'll keep the emeralds on me. I'll get rid of... No, I'll keep the bones in case we run into dogs. Cocoa logs I don't need. Mushrooms I don't need. I should cook this meat. Rather than just carry it round raw. I'll leave most of the meat here. I can cook it later. And all of these bits. Um, what other Christmassy adventures do we need to get up to here? Um, Lou, hello, welcome. Okay, so we need to... Hang on, I'll sleep first. Yeah, we need to go find a desert and get some cactus. We need to make a map of this area so we can't get lost. We need to go into some caves and get some more resources. And I'd ideally like to find some diamonds, but, you know, chances of that are pretty small. Um, always a possibility, I guess. So, yeah, I'll wait until the meat is ready. Then we go off and start working on... Our map, I guess, that's probably the first one. That's not too hard, actually. We need some paper, which we can get like this. We actually need four sheets, and we've got three, which isn't the best. Um, so I have to go... Oh, is that meat done yet? Oh, I can see it in there, but I can't get to it. Crap. There is a flaw in this fireplace design. A bit of a critical design flaw. Okay, so I'm going to plant our um, sugar cane somewhere. I don't think it should go up here because the water will keep freezing. I think maybe we can build a little sugar cane spot down in the valley. Um, over here. It's only going to be a tiny one for now like oh this little patch here this is perfect if we just um pour some water in there actually no i'll start it in there because we want to make it like an infinite water supply which means you have to be a little bit more clever about it we get a bit of water here and we just fill in the gaps throw it down there and boom Oh, and we can, of course, yeah. There we go, infinite water. That will grow more sugarcane. I'll see if I can find some more just lying around as well, because we want to make some maps. Um, we need a cartography table as well, which requires even more paper. I think we need six paper in total, though, which should be fine. I think, oh, there's some. Before we go on our cactus expedition. Um, 
Yeah, so cactus, diamonds, and then once once we have diamonds, I mean, we can get enchanting as well, actually, once we have a lot of paper. And if we get a few cows, we can, um, you know, build an enchanting table, go to the nether, go to the end, kill the ender dragon, and, you know, pretty much win Minecraft. Although we did say it, we we're going to do try try for one hundred percent of the achievements. I mean, I'm not sure how feasible that is, but we'll see. I'm optimistic at this point, and if I fail, well, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be very disappointing. Um, should we plant this yet? No, we won't plant this yet. We'll bring this stuff up here we need more iron for our map as well we need iron and redstone so we're going to have to go back into the mine for a little bit what i'm hoping is the mine will hit a cave soon and once we've hit a cave you know we can dig more freely find more treasure get more redstone and things sound good okay this this is grown Oops. So yeah, expand our farm a little. Um, right. So sugarcane equals paper. Perfect. Um, we have some wood in here, I think. So I think if we do... Is this right? Yep, cartography table, which I can put over here. And with this we can make maps we'll actually we'll need more paper for this as well but we've got we've got our little sugarcane farm that's fine okay so into the mines now i nearly walked backwards off this but luckily i didn't because there is a dangerous drop not far over the edge here we go oh should i use my stone pick actually before i go using up all my iron Probably. It's it's probably the safer choice. Rather than um, waste the iron one just breaking rocks like some kind of some kind of I don't know, mug or something. I don't know why mug is like a word for like a dumb person or whatever. I I I think mugs are generally quite useful, you know, you you want to keep your drink in something. Where else would they have you keep your drink? These people who call people mugs. In some sort of sippy cup or something. I, I don't know. It's just... It's ridiculous is what it is. Okay, so this is three... Sorry, I'm just counting in my head. Because I like to put down torches like... Oh. I like to put down torches every five blocks. I know every seven is really what you need to be safe. But... Well, I'm, I'm just being extra careful. I don't know if I was doing it in the last video. I was probably like counting silently, but sometimes you mumble. Quiet mirth, hello, welcome. How are you this evening? Now I'm hoping to just hit, like this strip mining is fine, but it's kind of boring as well. So I'm kind of hoping I hit a cave with it and, you know, it's full of diamonds and stuff. You, you can never know, though, where the next cave will be. When will my cave begin? Actually, the one good thing, though, is we're getting a ton of cobblestone. So we can build our workshop into a proper castle with all, with all of this, I hope. Maybe put down a few um, towers and things. I'm running a little low on the old torches. Right, there we go. It's not something you really want to run out of when you're digging a, a cave. This has been the least eventful 
bit of mining I have done in my life. You know, normally you hit something, some redstone, some like dirt even, gravel. But we haven't actually hit anything. Oh, here's some dirt. I shouldn't have said that. I've cursed myself now. Um, I hate digging through dirt. Why is there dirt down at this level? Like, what's it come from? Who put it here? Oh, it's okay, it's gone. It was just a brief, uh, dirty interlude before we, re we reached um, this granite area. Granite is pretty nice. I mean, okay, it looks a bit weird in its raw form, but we can make some really nice tiles with it. It could be good in the house. Oh no, gravel. Gravel is the poor man's dirt. But that's an insult to the poor man. Gravel is just worse than dirt. I mean, I know a, a saying is that someone could be dirt poor, but I think being gravel poor is like a level below. It's afternoon where quiet mirth is. Oh, wow. Oh, you're at work. Well, okay then. Yeah, don't like shout at the screen or anything then. I don't want to get you in trouble. Are you a professional Minecraft watcher? Because, you know, that could be a fun job. Is there such a job? Are there Minecraft commentators out there? And how do I become one? Because I think I know enough to commentate on someone's Minecraft game. I mean, there's mining, there's crafting, there's, I don't know, killing. Minecraft kill. That can be like the tagline of the Minecraft movie if they ever make it. Um, I, th I, I know all the tricks as well. Like, um, I don't know. what What's a Minecraft trick? Actually, no, I just said I know all of them. Nobody tell me. I'm meant to know it myself. I know how to... Oh, I know how to make a redstone door that you can open and close with levers on either side of it. I mean, that's a pretty good trick. I didn't want to use diorite for that. I like diorite, but oh well, too late. Um, right, let's keep going. We got some redstone anyway. That's one of the things we need. The other thing we need is to not die to silverfish, which would be lovely. Although, I, to be honest, if we ran into them now, I wouldn't mind. Just to spice this up a bit. Uh, let's see. Not even a bit of iron either. So that's what's worrying. Because we need to make more iron pickaxes. And my normal formula is if you go mining with an iron pickaxe, in general, you will find nine iron while you're mining. Not so today. Unless I find like 18 now in just a big vein, a big veiny, pulsating, blood-filled vein that I can leech it from, like some sort of vampire. Miss Glaceon, hello, welcome. How are you? Lots of coal to give to the bad kids anyway. Or the good industrialists. There we go. Just close that off so that monsters don't uh, spawn in there and terrorize my mine shaft. Because this is hardcore after all. We don't want to die ever. Yeah, I'll do one more and stick another torch. The five torch rule has never let me down. In all the like three weeks I've been doing it. N normally I'd just be a throw torches everywhere. Oh, here we go. This is our big vein. 
this is our big chance. Um, let's just mine a little more so we can expose more of it and get another torch down. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I said there'd be 18. Let's see how well that holds up. That was my prediction. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 exactly. Oh my God. Minecraft psychic over here. Like right here. That's crazy. I'm genuinely surprised at that. I think a lot of knowledge of the game must have like seeped into me through osmosis like that I don't know about like ore generation patterns and things. You know like how sort of early cavemen learned things just you know they'd stumble across stuff and they'd eventually find a pattern in it and um, you know that led to like early science I'm sure and the discovery of fire and everything but yeah I, I did it I have learned something about Minecraft or predicted something about Minecraft that is why I should be a professional Minecraft commentator Miss Glaceon's babysitting and eating pizza oh that's pretty good I do like pizza um I'm good. I am streaming Minecraft at the moment, but I'm sure you already know that. Um, and it's a Monday night, so Monday's pretty much over, which is great because it means that, you know, the rest of the week is here. No more Monday. Um, oh look, a cave at last, but our pickaxe is about to die, so I shouldn't go in yet. Uh, let's, let's have a... oh no. Oh no, no, no. Well, let's have a little peek. Okay, it goes on for a bit over there. Oh wow. That looks like some sort of giant gelatinous cube or something. I think it's just water, but... Oh, it's crazy looking. Okay, we'll definitely come back here. Is there anything up here? I just want to light it up so nothing can spawn. No. I could pour my water bucket down there and get across, but not yet. No, we need a pickaxe to go mining in the cave. And we've got the iron we came for as well, so there's no real point yet. We're going to make a compass and a map and, I don't know, whatever else we need. Did I plant more um, sugar cane? I can't remember. I think I did. Sorry, I just noticed a load of dust on top of my router. Let's hop up this um, staircase. been watching a thing on Netflix recently very good called a uh, glitch I don't know if any of you have seen it well I was watching it a few years ago it's basically this Australian TV show thing about a bunch of people who come back from the dead and you know it's a bit mental and you know it comes across I know there's something quite low budget and charming about it in some ways it's it's like lost but done on the cheap or something, I would say. But it's very good. Um, yeah, my confusing statements about when I watched it. It came out, like, they've Series 3 came out recently, but Series 2 was, like, nearly three years ago. So I started watching Series 3. I was really excited for it to come back, but um, I had no idea what was going on. I'd forgotten who every character was and got two episodes in and was like... <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to have to start it from the beginning. And I'm so glad I did. It's so good. What happened? No! No. 
our water has um, frozen over and disappeared. This mountain top is not a good base location. Maybe if I get some netherrack and start a fire along here, that'll keep the ice melted. Does fire melt ice in this? I'm sure it probably does. I just, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we want a map. So what we do for a map is this to get a compass. Then we do this to get a... M no? We don't have the recipe. Oh, is it eight paper? I think it might be eight, not four. Well, I cannot do anything about that right now. What can I do something about? I can get a bit of wood and make myself a new pickaxe, maybe. Yeah. Um. Okie doke. Perfect. And everything else can go in here. The cobble, the gravel, the flint, you know. All of that crap. The leather. Oh, well, there's no room for the leather or redstone. We had redstone. Oh, hang on. We don't need, we don't need rotten flesh. That's a bit useless. Um, we'll take some of this iron and go out and find more paper. Because we need a few sheets as well to get this map working. Okay, so we need four more pages to make the map, I think. And then I guess we need two more maybe to make the map bigger you'll see what i mean by that and no i didn't plant any extra stuff here we've only got one and it hasn't grown so because of my um consumerist i need it now um morals our sugarcane has not lasted when will this modern society of ours learn I don't know. Sugarcane conservation should be top of our agenda. That said, I am just going to knock down whatever sugarcane source I find next and, you know, use it to make paper. There's a jungle around here as well. Wasn't there last time over that way where we got our um, cocoa wood? I don't think I've used cocoa wood to make things before. I'm sure it's lovely. Just need to find um, sugar cane. So any kind of water source in this um, infernal forest. I am taking a risk wandering off because I didn't get the coordinates of the base because as we know, Pressing F3 apparently stops recording. I don't think it does anymore. I've changed the binding, but I don't want to risk it in case um, we have another accident. <laughs> oh, a dog. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come with me. Can No, you, you can stand up. Yeah, come. Follow me. What do we call him? I don't think there's more water over here. We'll head back towards the river. Any ideas for dog names? Just send them into chat. I'll take a look in a second. Um, if I had a dog, I'd name him after him, but unfortunately I don't. Though I've had a couple during my lifetime. Out of my way, pig. I got important business to attend to. Don't have time for your swine hijinks. What was I saying about Glitch anyway a second ago? Yeah, it's really good. So it's like a bunch of people come back from the dead. And um, the main character is this like cop called like James or Jimes as they say in Australian accents, that are more convincing than my one. 
Dog McGee says Kitty Life. Okie doke, yeah, do Dog McGee. And welcome to the stream, Kitty Life. But um, yeah, and he's played by, I don't know, the actor who plays him, he's just, he's very endlessly entertaining just because he's permanently so high strung. Like, if you watch the series and just focus on like how high strung and angry the character James is all the way through at every situation, it's just so amusing. But it's a good mystery show as well. I mean, I think that probably reduces it too much because it is like a quality TV show. I wouldn't, I'm not making fun of it. But, um, yeah, so a bunch of people come back from the dead. They crawl out of their graves, uh, but, um, they're like in perfect health and stuff. And if they were sick before they died, then they're fine. And it's a whole mystery about, you know, why they came back. Uh, who they are because they've got amnesia as well look at this oh there's some iron now this is a pretty cool hole um yeah there's all um yeah who they are because they've got amnesia what you know what their purpose is and then there's um other people who come back from the dead and um i don't know the way it they're kind of like terminators or something that's the best way i can put it where they die and like anyone around town, it seems, who, di who dies since the incident comes back with like this unstoppable urge to like kill the original people who came back from the dead because they're aberrations or whatever. So the first one is like guy who comes back is like this police officer. And um, I don't know, he reminds me of the T-1000 or something, except he's not liquid metal. He's just like an Australian policeman <laughs> but um you know if you imagine that's the the T1000 was an Australian policeman in Terminator 2 and John Connor was some sort of you know resurrected man from World War 1 then you've pretty much got the gist of the series oh and instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger you've got what's his name the actor um Patrick Brammel is his name and uh yeah he's you know, saving their lives, but being permanently pissed off all the time. Let's see. I'd do more of an impression, but I fear I would have to descend into like a lot of effing and blinding, which, um, you know, w wouldn't be good on the stream. I generally keep it quite clean. It's funny as well, because there's an Irish character in it too, and they have an Irish actor to play him, and he's very good. But then they have an Australian actor playing him in flashbacks when for, to when he's younger at some points, and, you know... It's an Australian actor doing an Irish accent that sounds a bit like a Clint Eastwood impression. Like, it's about the same quality as the Australian accent I can do. Um, so that's, that takes you out of it a little bit. I'm going to get this iron while I'm out here. I think it's getting dark. But, um, yeah, it's actually, it's very like, uh, there's another TV show on Netflix called um, The Returned. And I think it's a French one. And then they made an American version that was worse, which was basically the same thing. A bunch of dead people came back and, you know, why did they come back? Oh, no, what's going on? But, yeah, I think this is better than that. Like, it came afterwards and kind of stole the idea, but did it better. So, you know. More power to them. That was a bit of a ramble. Both the walk and the talk. Um, but we're back at Santa's village. And back on the topic of Minecraft. Because we have got our... Um, whatchamacallit. Papery ingredients. To make our map. And we've lost our dog somewhere. I thought they like teleported behind you, so I hope this doesn't mean he's dead. Oh, we got exactly the right amount of paper. There we go. There's a map. 
And now we go to the old uh, Le Tableau Cartographe, as they say in France. And how does it work? Oh, I have to look at the map first. Boom. There's our region. There's Santa's workshop on top of the mountain. So now I put this in there and do this and this. And now there we go. Okay. So we're in the northeast of this like sector thing. This is kind of weird. The Minecraft world is divided up into map areas. So wait, what's that oak? Yeah, we probably need that. I'll take the apple so I can put these back. Um, basically, to prevent your Minecraft maps from overlapping, if you make multiple maps and zoom them out, the way they had... Oh, he's back. I thought that was a spider or something. Okay, Doggy McGee is back. Um, yeah, they make it so that when you zoom out your map, it doesn't center on where you were. It just... It sort of aligns to a predefined grid, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't, but, you know, whatever. So we are in the top right of our predefined grid. So let's go and explore. It's fine. Even if we wander off the map, we'll still see our little, like, character marker on um, the edge of it. So we'll know at least which direction it is to get home. And we're just going to go find a desert and get some cactus. So I don't think that should take too long. I mean, Minecraft is just 90% desert when you don't want one. It's just um, a little harder when you do. Do we have enough wood with us? We don't have any wood with us. That was probably short-sighted of me. But if we can cut down a tree, we could build a boat here. Just to make... Um, the journey a little easier. Let's see up here. Ah, there we go. I see some sand as well. It's probably a beach. But if it was trees, not trees, um, a desert, that would be perfect. I can't even remember what I'm looking for at this point. I'm just getting all confused. Okay. Well, that's an ominous noise. It sounded like the monster from Lost. It's weird. <laughs> that's not the noise it makes. I think the noise it makes is too mechanical for me to replicate with it in my mouth. I know when it, it when it's about to show up, you get a sort of <laughs> and then when it's like leaving, you get a <laughs> But that's pretty much it. Okay. A birch boat. Oh, the boats are different colours depending on the wood. That's cool. Actually, I was building a Minecraft farm for my nephew. I don't remember if I told this story last time. And, um, yeah, he wanted me to build a fence. And um, I built it out of birch instead of oak. And he got really annoyed because he doesn't like the birch wood. he died it would have appeared in my chat window i'm alive uh -huh. oh the dog yeah cool okay so here is our first foreign shore we've reached and it looks very much like home so i don't think there's much use going here we'll follow the coast for a bit See if it gets more interesting. Should have brought a bed along as well. Um, but I see a sheep. So while we're in sheep town, let's just... Do I have iron? And while I have iron as well to build some shears or a sickle as it is in this um, mod pack. Grab some wood. Yeah, I've got enough for a bed. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. Your assistance will not be forgotten. Where did we get all this wool from again? <laughs> okay. Oh, look, this this could be no. But what on earth are these? It's like um someone's been cutting down trees here or something. 
What is going on? And there's some turtles. Hello. Can do we get anything if we like kill them or anything? Or should I be friendly? And what is going on down here? I see some like particles or something. Oh, they're just sand bits. No, there's there's nothing here. Oh, but if I were to um no. There we go. Collapse the sand cave. Lou hasn't seen Lost, but enjoyed you. You enjoyed the monster noise. That's good. I think the the actual noise they make. I heard somewhere like the monster sound effect when he's sneaking up on people or whatever, is um, the receipt printer from a taxi. The sort of pss, 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 noise. So yeah, if the, if the, if that helps. Oh, what's this? Oh no, it's just uh, just a mountain. I thought maybe it was a building, like we'd found a village or dungeon or something. But no, we wander the earth, village and dungeonless. Oh, was that a dolphin I heard? And was it in-game or outside? That'd be funny if it was like a dolphin just <laughs> out there. Oh, look at this. Thank you, noble squid. You have led me to the promised desert. Oh yeah, this is a proper desert. Look, there's a pyramid. Sand. Amazing. Okay, so we need some cactus. There's some cactus. There's some cactus. And there's treasure in this pyramid, I'm sure. So we'll go get some of that um, carefully so as not to die. There's a rabbit as well. But we'll let him live for now. We don't need too much cactus. I'll just take a few little bits. I say a few. Oh god! What the hell was that? That that was terrifying. Was it in here? Um What the hell? Okay, there's a trap in the middle of these temples. I think it's if you step on the middle of the floor, it collapses. That's... I think there's a pit below. Yes. Oh, and whatever was down there has exploded. Okay, we found the source of the explosion anyway. I, I think that some sort of sneaky pharaoh may have been laying a trap for me and may have accidentally set it off themselves. Well, let's go down and take a look at the damage. Oh god. No, there's no treasure left. <laughs> no treasure down there. I'll tell the children there will be no Christmas this year. How does that happen? A mob stood on the pressure plate. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Well, we got our cactus anyway, so we can he go home proud. I also like the bricks on this place, but, you know, should we take a few? Building a giant sandstone castle on top of a snowy mountain seems like, you know, an exercise in futility. But we'll see what we can do. It could be handy to have a few blocks of it around anyway. And I think 
Is it getting dark? Yeah, the sun's going down. Okay, um... I never picked up that temporary crafting table I made because I'm a fool. So... We're gonna sleep in the haunted explody pyramid tonight. Just with my spare bed. We'll sleep on the roof because, you know, it's probably safer than being inside there. Um, What's that thing? It looks almost like a submarine or something. I'm going to go take a look in the morning. I don't think there are submarines. Oh, a shipwreck. It could be a shipwreck. We could get some treasure after all. Just have to wait for the sun to go down before it'll let me bloody go to sleep. Look at my shadow over there. I love this shader pack. Let me sleep. I am tired. I want to go to bed. It's like the opposite of um, a child's tantrum at bedtime. No, I am tired. There we go. Okay, so that shipwreck over there. That will be swimming with treasure, if you will forgive the pun. So let's go grab some. Yeah, that's nice. What kind of wood is that? Is that cocoa wood? Because I like it. I really like it. So, where is the treasure at? Oh, there. I've got a treasure map. That's good. A lot of paper. A blank map. Also good. Uh, we could make a map of, like, this area since we're off our regular map. Anything else? No? I think that's probably it then. Um, let's see this treasure map. Okay, it's over here, is it? Yes. Okay, it's back the way we came. And of course, once we've like found the treasure, this is a handy map of the area to have anyway. We'll just remember where we are. We're in the desert. We, we parked the boat in the desert. Have I got enough room for treasure? Not really. But, you know, it, it's fine. We'll be practically home by the time we get there. Oh, some horses. Some sheep. If we had a saddle, we could um, get a horse, but we'd have to find one. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you can only find them in uh, treasure chests. And our treasure chests just got kerploded. Oh. Oh, it's a village. We found a village. And we have a single emerald to trade this is these are all the children who we will visit at Christmas um, oh look at them they look kind of weird in this texture pack I'm not sure I like it but there's a farmer um, I don't have anything to trade with him unless I rob some of his own vegetables a few nobodies A few cats around as well. Any of you got a job? Oh, you do. You buy string. Okay, I don't. I don't want to sell string. They've got beds. They've got crafting tables. Oh, this is lovely. This is very nice. They've got some sort of Stonehenge here. Is anyone home here? No. Okay, well, we'll remember where this place is anyway. We can always come back. 
move in, help them out, get them jobs, trade for things. We could move here. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I know last video there was talk of moving into a village and sort of hijacking it. I'm still kind of up for that. Oh no. Treasure's here. Under the sea. It's a desert village, which is a little annoying. Okay. Is there a way to get this treasure without drowning? Not particularly. Hmm. This is a pickle, isn't it? Do I see... Is that like a Badlands on the top left of the map? Or is that just where we I haven't explored? A Badlands biome would be pretty cool. Um, look, there's another desert building over here as well. Is this... Um, another temple. No, it's just a well. Well, well, well. Wellity, wellity, wellity. This is pretty nice. Christy, hello, welcome. Just make sure I don't get golemed. Oh, don't worry, I, I won't get golemed. I'll be fine. Although, I, I know a lot of streamers do um, meet their end at the, ha at the fists of an iron golem. I don't, but I'm, I'm aware enough to not uh, join their ranks, I think. I need to make a new boat because I'm not walking back for the other one. Uh, I can get rid of some of this stuff. This single block of sand I don't need. Okay, so everyone remember where this village is. We might come back. Wellington. Is that like a village name? We could call it Wellington. Like in... Isn't that a place in, like, Australia or New Zealand? Or one of those places? Like, I think there already is a Wellington. There can be two. I think it's New Zealand. I could be entirely wrong. But it just seems... It just sounds right, doesn't it? It's like that thing where, you know... Australia is the obvious answer when you're thinking of places in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's probably wrong. It's always an, a more obscure answer. It is New Zealand. Yeah, I, I knew it, see? It's like all of the cool legends and stuff, you know. You just automatically think... Um, you'd automatically think, like... Oh, Roman mythology, but then you realise, you 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 know, it's Greek mythology you're thinking of. Oh no. Oh no, I've glitched. Hang on. I'm going to go back in. There we go. Okay, so... Are, do we stay in Santa's village or do we move to Wellington? Or as they would probably call it in New Zealand, Wellington. That's the thing, isn't it? I, I think I thought, talk about that in one of my Sims videos. That the way the way to do a New Zealand accent is to replace all of the vowels with I. I eat scrambled eggs in Wellington. See? 
<laughs> Flawless. Flawless. You, you may have thought that I was replaced by a person from New Zealand for a few seconds there, but I was not. I was, ju I was just me. Sounds a bit more South African. Um, well, maybe it's South African. They're, they're close enough. Well, they're not close, but you know, they're close. <laughs> they're closer than like Ireland is to either of them. So yeah, why why not? Can I do an American accent? Um, possibly. Hang on. It depends what kind of American accent. Uh. Uh, I think I generally sound a bit like Kermit the Frog when I try. Hang on, I'll get it. Um, yeah, I, I can do an American accent, sort of. I sound a bit like a Muppet. <laughs> it does sound like Kermit, though, when I do it. A valley girl. Is that the whole sort of, like, you know, whatever voice? I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't have much wood with me. Uh, I need more wood to make more chests. More chests. Sorry. I was saying more chests and I just like ran out of words in the last like sound of it. So I said more chess. But of course you can't make chess in Minecraft. Well probably with some mods you can. I mean there's some pretty good mod packs out there. But not in any way that I am currently aware of in vanilla Minecraft. That dog is so spooky looking with his big scary shiny eyes. Um, what do I need in here? Do I need anything? No, I don't think so. Um, why am I looking in the chests? Oh, I wanted to put my paper somewhere doesn't fit in there it can go in here cool I'm just going back and forth between two chests today that's my thing um I need food but luckily I have this delicious apple right new job for today is um what is our new job for today oh I've got the die now the cactus die I can make our Christmas flag we need string, which need means we need spiders, which means we either need a big scary cave or to stay up at night. I think we're going to go down here and go into the big scary cave. Find some spiders, steal their string, make a loom, um, make a flag or a banner. That looks sufficiently Christmassy and maybe find some diamonds you know that, that's the side quest right now it's it's the long-term goal it's the stretch goal start looking at chests and try to make eye contact instead eye contact oh with the camera hello sorry yeah it's it's above my eye level so it's not maybe I should move it Lou did a successful Texas accent once. I, um, I can do a Welsh accent. Um, I actually went to see the podcast. My dad wrote a porno. They do, like, live episodes. I don't know if any of you know it. It's basically the host's dad writes really bad erotic fiction, and he just reads it out and kind of makes fun of it, and that's pretty much it. But, um, I went to a live like reading of it and um they got me to play a welsh character in it because i well i volunteered from the audience that i could do a welsh accent so there you go oh look some um, emeralds there we go okie doke what do i need torches yes What happened to our other emerald, or jade, or whatever they're called in these expand this um, whatchamacallit, resource pack? 
Okay, I see zombies. I see iron. Let's see how much iron we can mine before the zombie gets here. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Nip, whoop. The zombies, eh? They've changed Minecraft combat somehow, like, since last time I played it years ago. And I haven't quite put my finger on it, like, what's different about it, but it's harder. You used to just be able to be like, Ugh, and just chop everything apart. Ooh! Wanna try that again, skeleton? Yeah, thought not. Got him. Okay. That was some uh, expert shield work there. You got to witness. Um, oh, look. There's a lot of lava around here, which is kind of dangerous. But look at all this iron. We will not need to mine any for a long time. Oh, and some lapis as well. Which we can use for enchanting. I'm ignoring the redstone. We don't need redstone yet. Like, I might build some redstone contraptions later on if I survive long enough. But this is proper hardcore survival. Once, I, once I'm dead, I'm gone. Oh, I see gold as well. I wish I'd brought more sticks with me. Because the torch situation is very annoying. Oops. That weird dash thing as well. I don't remember that. Oh, th look at this. More emeralds. This feels so dangerous. Hmm. Um. No. Oh. Okay. That wasn't as close to as near a miss as I thought it was, but. I've got to watch where I'm walking. Stomach in mouth there. Slimer, thanks for the sub. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to have to do this carefully. Um, you see, that's what happens when I try to make eye contact, Miss Glaceon. I stop looking where I'm going and I fall to my doom. I want to explore over there. It's a shame I can't make like a bone torch or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Very metal. Just having a bone with a burning rag on top of it. Okay, so where is the exit from here? Oh, here we go. Through the gelatinous cube and... Let's grab a bit of coal. Here we go. Not a diamond, but two emeralds. That's pretty good. They're like the rarest thing. They're rarer than diamond. So I should be happy with that. I mean, I'm a, li I've, oh, no, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Would have liked some diamonds. Diamonds are more useful. I like um, Tech It Classic, where all the em where, you know there were emeralds, sapphires, and rubies that were kind of intermediary. They were like the stage between iron and um, thingy diamond. I think that was good to have like a middle stage in between, so there's more of a progression. Oh, the stairs! We need a quicker way to get up and down, some sort of elevator. 
Is there still a way to make, like, boat elevators or something? They used to be a thing. Where you'd have a bunch of trapdoors with water flowing through them and then a boat at the bottom. And the boat would go in and it would shoot up through all the trapdoors and then you'd, you know, end up um, at the very top. Like, it was really fast. Oh, dog didn't come with me. Well, I guess thank you for watching the house. I'm going to build a couple more of these um, furnaces. Just to pile up here so that I can um, smelt my gold. Where's my gold? In one and my iron in this one. And my um, cactus in the top one. Didn't find any spiders down there. Disappointingly. But let's um, let's torch up and head back down. Yeah, I, I see dog. I see it's a, it's a furnace. That dog loves furnaces. He's just obsessed. They're his favourite thing. Furnaces and um, other small factory machinery. Diamonds are a girl's best friends, so therefore I'm a girl. Well, logic holds up, I guess. I'll just, I'll hand in my man card tomorrow. I'll just go down to like the Department of Genders and um, surrender it. Go get some diamonds. Just roll around in them scatter them on my bed and just roll back and forth on top of them <laughs> so that they like embed themselves in my skin and turn me into some sort of like diamond tortoise that took a weird turn that sounds like some sort of pokemon doesn't it like some sort of diamond tortoise do they have one of those i know they have like torterra who's like a big rocky tortoise they have Squirtle, who's like a watery tortoise. They have that fire tortoise as well. Whatever it's called. I don't know. I haven't played a Pokemon game in a while. I think the last one I played was um, the remake of Pokemon Sapphire. And... Um, I didn't finish it. I just... I, I, no, I didn't enjoy it as, a, as much as I did some of the other games. I found there were too many bits where it's like... You know, there's a cutscene and it, like, teleports you somewhere. It didn't feel like as natural a journey as the other games. So I kind of just got bored of it and gave up. But I'll have to dig out my old DS and, you know try it out again i also um i paid for that online like pokemon wallet thing that nintendo were doing you know for storing your pokemon on their website or whatever and you had to pay like what was it like five euro a year or something for it it was very cheap but i paid for one year and then never again so i'm sure all my pokemon are dead now um <laughs> they've probably all been put to sleep they're considered abandoned i see there's an enderman up there which has three eyes. I haven't seen them in this um, pack before. That's really interesting. Should I take him on? I'm fully armoured, am not I? Yeah. Like full iron armour. I think... I think you can take an enderman in iron armour. Famous last words. Well, if this ends the series, so be it. But... Didn't count on the skeleton being here. Oh no, and a zombie. Ah, ah, oh my health. Oh. I know I said if this is the end of the series, so be it. But, um. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't actually think it would be. Oh crap. 
Well, okay. So what'll we do? Start again or move on to a different game? Um, I kind of feel like starting again, but you know, who knows? Let's just spectate the world for a second. Can I um, find out any dark secrets that were under there? Oh look, here's here's the tunnel. Oh look, it was like the bottom of some big cavern or something. Oh, there's my tunnel. It's all the way over here. Oh wow. That tunnel actually went quite far. Oh, there were too many monsters. I didn't see the skeleton. And I could have survived if it was just him, I think. But then the zombie. Oh, it's always the zombie. Okay, I... It's it's not loading right. I, I don't know where things are. Oh, here we go. So we went up here, was it? Yeah, forget it. Okay. Bad decision. But these things happen. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Hang on. I'm going to stop and start recording so we can start fresh with this and we'll go again.